Yo, what is going on people and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a hype map with using QGIS. Now this is not a video, this is not a video on how to set up a custom map. I will be linking you throughout the video with cards to my terrain series, but this is only how to get a hype map.asc. Now this might work for other games other than Armor and DayZ, I'm not too sure as I don't develop other games other than them too. I am not a QGIS Pro, but this is what I know and I do want to share this with you. If it did help you out to get a height map, please leave a subscription and a like. If you do need any help, I do have a Discord server, make sure to join that and also there is the comments down below. Everything that you will need will be linked in the description of this video. I'll see you in a second. Now what you want to do is you want to open up Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever browser you use and search up QGIS. As you can see mine already pops up here so QGIS and then you want to head over to this. I will have a link in the description so you can just click there, go on that link and click it. You want to click on this one here 3.12 now if you're watching this at a later date, it probably would be updated, but just click on the newest updated one. Then once you've done that, it's going to come up with the normal install. Now I've recently just installed it, so I'm not going to do it again because I literally just installed it 5 minutes ago. But what you'd want to do is you'd want to open it up, it'll come up with a menu. Literally all that you just do is keep clicking next and wait for it to be done. So now what you can search up is it'll say recently added here, or you can search it up. So we're going to search up 3.12, and as you can see, QGIS's desktop is there. So we're going to open it up and make sure it actually opens up. Now I'm going to have a link in the description to another Internet Explorer or Google link. And it's going to come up with something like this. Now this is a written tutorial. But if you like video tutorials, here you go. You're on this video. But what you need to do is you need to head over to this link. And where it says download, you need to click on this zip. And download that zip. What you can do is you can go on a website called WinRAR. When you're on this website, it'll look something like this, and then you want to download the English 64 bit or the English 32 bit. Now you'll be able to actually open the zip, and when you go to your downloads, it'll look something like this Game Terrain Tools. And then what you want to do is open it, check that you've got the files in there. So if it looks like this, you sorted, and then you can close that. And now you can close this text document thing. So now you're in QGIS, what you want to do is you want to head over to plugins, manage and install plugins. It'll pop up with a menu like this. Click on install from zip. Click these three dots here and then select that and then press the open button. Now I've already done that, but once you've done that, Perfect. Now you need to click this button here and it's going to open a game terrain tools menu like so. You want to head over to sat map, add sat map. Now untick export sat map and tiling, untick export from mask uncheck mark it roads make sure it's uncheck marked and then now you're on height map make sure that this has export and have the resolution 4096 now up here where the scaling is in meters you can have this at all different sizes so if you want to have 1000 you can have 1000 I'm going to be using 2000 and now anywhere on this map you can select now more popular areas are going to have better data so if you were to get let's say LA right if you were to get Los Angeles I don't know where it is but somewhere around here anyway 
if you were to get Los Angeles, it's going to be better than getting some terrain data from Greenland, isn't it? So you've got to think along the lines of that. But we are going to go to Spain because of me amigos. You know, we're all friends. And I'm going to click... Hmm, where should we go? We'll go here. Now once we've found the area that we would like, head over to the save button and save this whatever you remember. So we're going to call this tutorial 1. You can put it with whatever you want. Click the save button now. And then you can go over to mark area. It's going to give you a big red square and everything inside of this red square is what your terrain is going to be. So it's not going to pick anything out here or out here. It's everything in here. So I'm going to click here. And now as you can see, this is everything that it's going to use. We're going to click the download button and wait for it to download. Depending on how big it is, the sizes and all that good stuff, it'll take different times. Then it's going to give you this map here. This is the height map. So the white parts are actually the highest parts of the height map. And then the black parts are the darkest. We're going to now click the export button once that up at the top is done. And now what we have to do is we have to wait for the height map. Now up over here, it will say exported finished or exporting has finished. Now that it says export done, you need to find out the folder where you have saved it. So if you were to click save again or go to file save as, it's in my Matthew long time. So I'm going to open a folder going to search in Matthew long time and luckily enough for us armor 3 and DayZ nerds it already does it as an ASC for us so we need to head over to GTT underscore export scroll down to the bottom and guess what we now have the height map dot ASC now just a little disclaimer for you guys um, all them little square images they are for the satellite image and you should not have them with this tutorial. This is just from me on a previous date. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up Terrain Builder and open up a previous project. Now you guys need to remember that this video is not how to set up a custom map. It's simply just how to get a height map if you are going to be making a custom map. At the end of the video there will be a card and an end screen where you can actually click and start watching the episode 1 of my new terrain series. So I'm just going to go and open up one of my pre previous projects and I'm going to import the height map just to show you that it does actually work. So as you can see on this map, if we look at Cugus, it goes out like down there. If you can see, it's like a little hill but an upside down hill. And as you can see here, it's an upside down hill. Now, it's the same principle as somewhat in Cugus. The white areas are the highest parts and then the dark areas are the lowest parts. And these are like contour lines for... Daisy and Armour 3 in Terrain Builder, so this shows you the height of the actual map. But if this video did help you out, please leave a like and a subscription. Make sure to leave a comment or join my Discord server if you do need any help. If there's any tutorials that you would like me to do and I haven't thought about doing them and I know how to do them, please do let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day and adios, amigos.